And then Heroic could just look stellar, but we don't really know whether or not that them looking amazing or Mad Lions looking a little bit dicey. Santara is usually with the P2K. Gets the first one as well in this round on Cadian. Still in a good position. And already now, this is looking great for Big Clan. Yeah, they do at least get the trade, and that should give them control of the site. It is taking Big a little bit of extra time, though. And by the looks of it, they don't actually have a kit available to them. So they need to get going. Down is actually going to be blinded off, and that gives them the kill on Tessa. They get onto the bomb already, and it's left all onto Nico. Nothing he can do. Superb retake from Big. Zontarez, when he played Mirage versus Endpoint, was unstoppable. There was nothing that they can do. We're seeing still a few weaknesses within this nice flash, but it is only going to be the one kill. And they actually try and capture off of this Nico with a second entry he was highlighted by the desk as someone to watch having some great performances and actually a uncharacteristic miss shot from Searson is gonna give the site over to heroic currently saving just to make sure they have a buy into the next round deep Molotov extended and sound finds Searson for free a peek through the edge and leaves just one defender is Keto alone I said he had a very good first match now he has to try and do a little bit more. First kill go this way and he gets back around the corner. He gets another 1v1 fight. Keto, he's isolating these jewels. And that is now three for three. Now just has to try and buy some time. Nico's already made the cross and he hits the headshot again. This is a ridiculous round from Keto. Only one man standing looking for the ace, but he runs out of bullets. It doesn't matter. Zontaris is there to clean things up. So now towards Banana. Hit the shot on Cadian. Secondary all picked up by Stout, who is also a great secondary offer. Make no mistake, but I don't think he's going to be good enough to battle up against Tristan. He will take down Keto, though. 3v3. I'm quite surprised he managed to get away with that, with the positioning. Tessa oh, Tessa spotted the player in the graveyard, but that's a bit of a whiff. And Tizian just surviving here is going to be really irritating. Nico spamming him through, though. And good teamwork to clear out that spot. Now, Tabson's. Basically taking the initiative to push a little bit more aggressive. It seems like they might have an idea that he's here. Tessa! Oh, that's really awkward. And then he misses as well. What just happened? Oh, oh everything's wow. gone wrong for Dabson. Yeah. I guess that's for another time. It, it's another position where there's a weak purchase. They did invest in this round big. And again, it's going to be Searson to start. Keto this time can't be the hero. However, there's a gap in the smoke. And the boost up gives both Searson and Tabson another kill. We're up in Cadian alone. They're making sure that no one overpeaks. When they go into the site, they're going to do it together. They're going to do it as a unit. <laughs> and yeah, it's just not possible. The nice attempt from Cadian, but unfortunately, yeah, yeah. he doesn't bait out the shot that he wanted. I, I always get flashbacks to those, like, uh, it's, I think it's Tarek screaming, take the shot, take the shot. <laughs> Can I go 2-0? <laughs> Can I go 2-0 big now? Because this is looking very good. I'm very impressed by big, I have to say. This aggressive play doesn't work out, and it's kind of unfortunate. Stone was completely blind, but he still lands the shot. This is a round that Heroic has to win. They cannot let this one go to Santaris. Do the flashbang, doesn't care. Two frags. And once again, from an advantage, and now the downer player. This is... But Santaris makes it happen nonetheless. Ooh. I really am going to be panicking if I'm a Heroic fan, because he shouldn't be able to get away with anything here. Yeah. 20 seconds oh, left oh. on the clock. The Molotov for Bar is so perfect, though. And that should be the round. Yeah, that's actually, that's quite interesting because in that position, Barb is the one with the Molotov. He can choose to either Molotov uh, the bike area of Pip. Instead, going to go for the repeat into Argentadians just waiting for him. Now there's only one defender within this A site. And well, it's basically that same scenario I mentioned before. You, you kind of need a multi-frag and this is the man to do it. Tizian is also gone. It's left all onto Zontaris within that pit, but they haven't yet cleared him. There comes Nico out of the apartments to put him down. And yeah, this, this A site has been the pressure point now for Heroic and it's working. They've come from what looked like a fairly weak half all the way up to potentially six. Although Tabson does manage to find one and a second as well. This becomes interesting. He's going to wait here and throw it. I think they're going. It's actually quite early. They're still going for it. Okay. Yeah, perhaps. Going to catch what? one. And now that's the moment yeah. where they, they have to leave. Just a single bullet shot there would have been Tabson getting a kill. But it also would have given away his position. He's been spotted out by Stown. And it's a bit of an awkward fight. Long flashbang comes here from Nico. Now it's up to Tessus to do the entry. 
Oh, and there we go. See, it's a nice frag one. Refrag from Nico. The potential is there. Kadian rushing in as well to getting Santaris. And now that A side is cleaned up. And that's all around one area of the map. So they're really playing well together as a unit. And, and that seems to be a problem for Big right now. They can't really handle it on this A side. It hasn't worked out. And that's going to be the seventh round for Heroic, despite a great start on the T side. Let's wait and see. This is the pistol round coming up. And Nico's ready and waiting in the mid. Oh, he's surely going to get closed down. Searson just blasts his way up top mid. And you can already see Tessa starting to come under some pressure. The nade not doing too much. And the shots aren't either. He does get away with one, which is slightly more than maybe I expected at least. Already Tizian with another. Kadian comes in off the back of the C's dead. And they have to be careful. The big position here is going to be Searson. Shutting out one more, leaving it all onto Kadian. Head first. and trying to find Kadian, and he will be successful. Secondary player is down, and he'll take his head off. Clean, Santare spots one towards Graveyard. Secondary player towards the side, and a third towards the small pit. Let's focus on Tessis. One, two with the Deagle, but not the third one. Four up. We'll grab nothing as well, and plus two. Top flash into Boiler, and Stown will grab another headshot with the Deagle. Tessis knows exactly what's going on, and he will actually grab okay. one that was almost through the wall. Fully flashed as well. Santaris trying to hold this one off, but this is the 5v3 situation, yes. But this can work out for them. The bait of Borup jumping onto the side oh, is no. perfect. That bait jump is so good. Down, we'll grab two here, there's no question about it. And I'm not even sure if it was intentional, but it works out so good, that bait jump from Borup. Then they'll pounce on this. Kadian has to hit this first shot. If this misses, the round is almost over. And a secondary from Kadian. Nate goes in, smoke to follow. The rotation comes from Stown. Big risk taken by Kadian there, but they pay off. And well, he was one of the stars of the show in their match versus Mad Lions. He's looking at he wants again, but he does miss and gets overwhelmed because of it. The site has to be given up and four, well, almost versus two in shoes as Ito gets tagged. They've actually picked up the AWP. Stown is tagged as well, but it doesn't really matter too much. They are starting to pick this one apart. The four kits, you don't have to waste all the time. Swing out two players so they all can challenge you. Very nicely done. They are starting to see a few other players slow down oh, okay. and look how aggressive this is. They're trying to disrupt the play, but it's similar to what we saw on Kito again. A triple spray down. He just has these explosive rounds out of nowhere. Goes in with the orb. That's a quad kill as well. He's looking for his second. Oh, ah, can you just run B, Nico? Run B. Oh, he's going to get caught out by Tizian. Nothing spotted yet. Nico with a big angle on Santaris, but Kito answers back. Kito with a double. Should he make another triple? No, Borg denies him this time around. Switches up to the AWP. Yeah. Very smart Completely individual. Agree. In a very well placed position. Like, it, it almost looks easy because it's him doing it. And now we'll go back onto the site, hold a completely different spot to what he was playing before. Timing, though, doesn't work out. I don't think he expected Tabson to be yeah. that far around the corner. And now the leader of Big has a chance in this 1v2. And now he's going to get on the flank. Smart. It's aware from Tessus, but he doesn't manage to hit the shots. And now Tabson has brought this down to a 1v1 pass. The Molotov buffer up. He started off this round. He'll close it out as well in the nick of time. Kadian nails the shot on Takito. He's been the bane of their life over the last few rounds. So I'm sure they'll be quite happy to take this down. That's a really nice flash from Zantaras. Tabson will isolate the duel and sound trying to hold the cross. Looking for one, but in fact, they're going to go pushing onto him. They want to try and remove him from this position. Zontar is so quick with the headshot. Now allows them the potential to wrap around towards B. There's a solo defender. Barup did well in the last round, but this is going to be much tougher. And Tamsin doesn't even give him a second to think. Let him see what he can do. And now a flashbang comes in from his teammate. Off still not removed. Tess is not usually an offer, and he's not hitting, hitting his shots right now. <laughs> Tamsin with one as well. Tess is so pressured. There's nothing he can do, but he did. Ooh. The no scope. Tapson comes in and are they going to go in? The second that they spot someone, they'll probably back all the way on out. Nope. They're staying there right now. They're taking a lot of damage. And that's two weapons down. The bomb will retreat, but two weapons grab. Will they get the bomb as well? Oh my god. 
Tom, this is not happening. And Tizian to try and turn this back. There are five men on Banana for the CT side. They even have a smoke to try and hold them back. And they're going to boost over the top. Barop has caught another one. And Tizian, well, he'd have to almost double his kills to win this round. I don't think you can put it down to much more with a mostly oh, USP no. oh, round. No. Nice shot from Katie and Sirson is gone. Tessa's also pushing down mid. I think he might have been spotted though. And yeah, Tizian gets that one for free. Nico continuing this aggression. They're feeling confident now, but it might just bite them in the butt as we end up in a three on three. One, one, one split with Borg towards Long, who can rotate very quickly. The second that's down, see something. The rotation's gonna come back. Can down get this frag? He's just aiming a little bit too high or too low. Santaris jumps above him. And it's going to be the plan. 3v3 post plan, but Stout is going in. Grabs one very early on in this retake. Will not be denied by the Molotov, oh. but the nade will kill him. He, he caught that one. So I'm, yeah. I'm sure he's won a prize somewhere in the world, but not too helpful in this clutch situation. Tabson again, but it's into the one versus one. Santaris facing off against Kadian. He's not cleared. The angle on Zontara's peaks. When we did yeah, you also, you also predicted her out, so you can't like him that much. Nice push, though. That's impactful from Tessus. Tizian is gone. There's a rifle to be retrieved, and the apartment's now under their control. Are they going to wrap back to B? Oh. This has been a hole in their defense, but the problem is the time. Again, Keto. we're getting down to the 15-second marker. Keto, Keto has everything to do. The first kill, that's... Maybe enough, they need to just trade out onto Stout, but he drops one more, and the time is ticking. They have to go for the plan. If he denies they it, he get wins it, the round, it, they but they get it just down. This is and perfect Tizen for me. doing the same. As they look for the peak, it's awkward, but Tabson just about wins it. He misses the shot, though, and gets a second chance. It's into a one versus one. Nico facing off against Pearson. Probably both the players you'd want in this scenario. He's just going to tap the bomb. The tech now oh, no, comes out. Oh, no. The shot's not being connected. He has no Let's go. And it's Pearson to hit the headshot and give the victory to Big.